In this video, I'm going to go over the SKU Grid general settings. So the first thing you'll want to do when you're logged into your SKU Grid account is click on settings. The first little tab that you will arrive on is the general settings. Okay. There are four options on this page. The first option, run checker every. This is how often do you want SKU Grid to check and reprice your items if repricing is needed. So, you know, everybody has a different comfort level. You can choose any setting here in between every hour up to once per day, 24 hours. Understanding that the shorter the duration here, every hour, um, that will mean that you will have less risk of having a price change or an out of stock that happens in between the time that SKU grid last repriced your item versus um, the next time that it's scheduled to reprice your item and the time that you, you know, make the sale and have to go fulfill the item. If it's at every hour, that's the least risk that you will encounter. Uh, on the flip side, if you have every day selected, since SKU grid is only going to do your repricing once per day, you're assuming the most risk. Um, prices in stock change multiple times in a day for one particular item. I've seen this a lot with Amazon and Walmart in particular. So uh, just understand that, you know, the, the longer in time that you go, the more risk that you have. Um, running the checker, it costs one credit per item each time the item is checked. Uh, it will cost another credit if it's repriced and another credit if there's a compare item URL filled in. And that will be explained a little bit later in another video. So these are your options. Pick anywhere between these durations and uh, gauge your own comfort level with that. The next option, show title in the table. Do you want the grid to display the title of the item? This is coming from the supplier source, not your eBay or Amazon link. Um, this is from your supplier. It's going to display the title. It will display the image if you would like it to. Okay. The last option is number of items per page. This is how many items you want SKU grid to display on each page of items. So pick any number that you're comfortable and click save settings. 